Okay, uh, this question shows two isolated point charge with the electric field patterns. So for this point charge, right, the field lines are going out from the charge. So this must be a positive charge. And for this point charge, the field lines are going inwards. So it has to be a negative one. So the answer should be D. Uh, we have a conductor that carries a current of 2 ampere and how long will it take for 10 coulomb of charge to pass through one point in the conductor? This is a very straightforward question. We use the formula I is equal to Q over T. So T is equal to charge divided by current. This will be 10 divided by 2, 5 seconds. Answer B. Okay, uh, in order to achieve a resistance of 6 ohms for this circuit, we need the combination of a 4.5 ohm in series with a parallel branch of 2-3 ohm resistor. Because this 2-3 ohm resistor in parallel, it will give us 1 over R is equal to 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3. So 1 over R is equal to 2 over 3 and resistance of the parallel branch it will be 3 over 2 which is 1.5 ohm and since this 1.5 ohm is in series with this 4.5 ohm we add them up and it will give us 6 ohm in total okay so in this case we have to close S1 S2 and we have to leave S3 open so that the whole current will pass through the 4.5 ohm resistor so the answer should be Close, close, open, B. Okay, um, we have the terminal of a battery joined by a length of resistance wire. So we can see this uh, resistance wire as a resistor. Okay, so which change is going to increase the current in the battery? Okay, option A, if you have to connect another identical wire in series with the first one, you are going to increase the total resistance. When the total resistance of the circuit increases, the current will decrease. So A is wrong. Okay, by increasing the temperature of the wire, because the wire is a non-ohmic conductor, by increasing the temperature, you are going to increase the resistance of the wire and the current will decrease. So it cannot be the answer as well. Okay, using a shorter wire, and the same thickness is going to reduce the resistance of the wire hence the current will increase so the answer is C okay using a thinner wire is going to increase the resistance so this will decrease the current so D cannot be the answer as well hence the answer is C okay uh, for this question we can work out the current passing through the ammeter okay the total current in A is 3 ampere and then um, is split up into 1 ampere, 1 ampere. So the first branch must be 1 ampere as well, so that all the current adds up to 3 ampere. So A is wrong because the emitter will register 1 ampere. Okay, for option B, total current is 4 ampere. This is 1 ampere, this is 2 ampere. So this current here will be 1 ampere. So this is wrong as well. Okay, total current 5 ampere. Current here is 1 ampere, 3 ampere. So the current passing through the ammeter should be 1 ampere as well. So this is wrong. Okay, uh, option D, total current 6 ampere. This is 1 ampere, 3 ampere. So the current passing through the ammeter should be 2 ampere. Hence the answer should be D.